We have a Toyota Wego. Piece of shit cheap car. <laughs> well, that doesn't mean that we're not able to make power from it. And that doesn't mean that we can't tune it. And we're the only ones who are able to. So, yes, there is hope. And to answer the question that everybody's mind, is it worth it? If this is your only car and you really want to modify it, yes, it's definitely worth it. Because there, unless you buy another more powerful car, this is the car that you have. And this is the car that we're going to tune to make more power and at the same time get slightly better mileage. So this week already came to us with uh, this filter here. We're going to change that out to a K&N because that's a cheap Taiwan air filter. Uh, this one is also previously tuned with Unichip. And now what we're going to be doing, we're going to be putting a full exhaust on it. Uh, we have two new mufflers, uh, both Tanabe. They are low cost muffler that's again, cheap muffler for cheap shit car, but cheap doesn't mean low quality. So let's get right on it. We actually also work on cheap shit cars. By cheap shit, we meaning, yes, Toyota, we go cheap. And yes, we can still find power from it. Yes, we can do exhaust. Yes, we can do intake. Yes, we can tune. So the only question is how much? Uh, so that's the focus of this video because by volume, this is the second best-selling Toyota. First one's still the Vios. So for this one, we're going to be doing we're going to be doing a full exhaust with uh, using our new cheaper low-cost Tanabe mufflers. Rikspakwa. We have two styles actually. We have uh, the Tanabe medallion. This one. So it's a oval muffler. This is overall should be more quiet. And we have the Tanabe tuner medallion. It's a more straight through design, like so, has this removable silencer in front, so we're going to test both out and see what kind of sound it makes. Uh, I'm guessing this should be the more racing racing sound, that should be a bit more quiet. Uh, we're going to be doing a full exhaust and one of the things about the Wego is that the exhaust comes out in one piece, meaning from here up to the very front. It's one entire piece. There are no flanges in the middle. So there is no way to do a bolt-on exhaust except to change the whole thing, which we're going to be doing. If you can't afford a full bolt-on exhaust, the only other option is to cut and weld your stock exhaust. So katai welding. Now we're going to be installing our just-arrived Toyota Unichip just for this one. And we're going to be putting on the dyno. We're going to tune it. We're going to put in, I think this already is an air intake, but we'll change out the K&N filter for it. We're going to be documenting it step by step, how much power does the exhaust make, how much power, then after which, which is tuned by the unit chip. Okay, we have the exhaust of the Wego out, so this is it. This is the whole thing over here, from there to there. That one is on the front, so in front of that is the catalytic converter slash header, so that's there. This is a one and a half inch pipe, which we will follow because if you make it bigger, it's, it will lose power. This, for all intents and purposes, is a silencer resonator that doesn't really do anything because it's so small. And this is the Wego's muffler, this can here. This is the muffler itself. And this is the rear pipe that goes out to the back. So yeah, it's a bunch of pipes. <laughs> yep, cheap shit car comes with cheap shit stock exhaust. Well, it seems that the medallion doesn't quite fit. It fits here, where the spare tire is. So the other one fits fine, but not this one. So you can't use this on a Wego. Car too small.
Now we test it without silencer. these are the results of our we go full exhaust so explanation needed as always red line here this is stock no nothing stock we go is around barely 40 horses so 38 i think 38 horse there 38 yeah 38 horse this orange line here the one the broken orange line here this is unit chip tuned so as you can see it's pretty significant power here it's significant here also at the bottom and this sol these two solid lines are when we installed the exhaust as you can see there's also increase so it went from here's about 18 to 22 20 to 23 24 22 to 27 so there's five horses there but it lost a little bit of power here but gain power here on top so it smoothened out the graph no latong lundo na to so it, this is what a proper uh, graph should look like and what these two lines mean is one with silencer one without silencer uh, that pretty much is negligible so on a car this small the silencer doesn't really make a difference but what this tells us basically is that we have to tune the we have to retune the unit chip when the exhaust is installed so well that's the whole point of tuning and why we did that is because it changed the air fuel ratio a bit uh, this is our stock air fuel ratio um, this no wonder Matipid yung Wigo. It's super lean. This is when we tuned it with Unichip. We made it rich a little bit. And this is the air fuel ratio. Now, apparently, the Wigo is not happy with stoichiometric or a little bit below stoichiometric. It doesn't like this AF. It doesn't make power here. It makes power here. So we will lean it out just a little bit to gain back the power here in the mid range. As you can see here, this bump here, we have to make this line somewhat like this also. And no, because it's lean, that doesn't mean it's dangerous. This engine is designed to run lean because it is an economy car. So the leaner it is, the more fuel it saves. And besides, as you can see, stock, it's already super lean. So we made it even a little more rich. So that's why it actually runs a bit safer too. So, eh, not bad. So total of about 50 horses for a Wego, up from 38. That's, what, 12 horses more, which translates to about... 30% more power. So that's with an intake, exhaust, and our unit chip mod for the Wego.
this is the best that we can do. So again, stock power, unit chip tune only, unit chip with exhaust. So overall, you have more power here up to about 3,500 RPM. So uh, apple to apple, it's 22.5 to 30. That's seven horse right there. This one, wala, wala na kami magawa dito. We cannot catch that anymore, but that's only from 3,500 to 4,000. Uh, the, but the more important thing is this line here at the tune line is not below stock. That will suck. So it's not below stock. But after that, it dramatically jumps up here to about 46 horse. Then we're able to extend the RPM all the way up to red line where it doesn't dip like the, like the stock or with the unit chip tune. This is because of the freer flowing exhaust. That's why we're able to get 42, 58 horses here in this area. So we went from... 38 to 51 horse. So that's what, 13 horses. Yeah, we're still at the 30% more power. But uh, for 99% of the time that you're using your Wego, which is here, up to 3,500 RPM, that's a pretty big drastic increase right there. Uh, torque also increased. So if you look at this area only, which is, again, where you spend most of your time, that's quite a world of difference already right there. So, yes, cheap shit car still has hope to be tuned and to make more power.